we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, all. Thank you for being here. This is the fourth episode of your money and biz reading. So thank you for being here today. uh, The reading is about Mercury, the magician. And it's about what you do with a little. What have you done with something uh, that was small, that God, source, uh, divine being, a supreme being has given you? What have you done with it? Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person who comes to the reading with a, with clarity, uh, truth and clarity about their own life, their own money and business uh, reading. All right. So... What have you done with a little? Uh, Matthew 25 and through 20, Matthew chapter 25 through 20, verse 20 through 21. Why can't I get that right? Matthew chapter 25, verse 20 uh, through 21. Okay. Uh, Verses 21 says, his master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. I think that starts at 20. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. That is beautiful. Let's read it one more time. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. All right. And the card that I got, I said, Sphere, what card do you want to associate with this uh this scripture it said the magician okay so the magician here what does the magician talk about for first of all it's mercury it's the plant it's ruled by the planet of mercury so it talks about communication speed movement it's the winged messenger the universe is saying i have given you insight i've given you resources by way of communicating with you through your mind what did you do with those gems that were given to you when you were channeling from the divine? Did you use those resources to attain your dream or did you not? Did you not do anything with it? Have you been a good and faithful steward over what has been gifted to you? That's the question here. Have you used your potential? Okay. Um, Have you used your intellect, your creativity, that those bright flashes of inspiration? Have you acted on any of it? Have you really yielded your power? Have you been ambitious? Do you have vision? Are you able to close your eyes, see where you want to be in the near future, come back to the now and start to do things, uh, move in the direction of your vision. Do you have vision? Have you got into your purpose? What are your goals? Do you have any, are you following a dream? 
Have you been a good and faithful steward over what I have gifted you, what I have uh, communicated to you in regards to your purpose? Are you resourceful? Are you striking out? You know, have you learned? Have you got any education? What did you do with your resources? What are you doing with them? Are you a good and faithful steward over what spirit, God, angels have given you? What they've communicated to you? You have, everybody's been communicated to, to the, you know, everybody has that communication in regards to what they're good at, what their purpose in life is. It's about pursuing it. Do you have enough gumption? Do you have enough willpower? Because the magician card is about willpower also. Do you have enough willpower to actually move? The magician card is actually uh, related to the will of fortune. It talks about destiny and fate. Have you gone after your destiny, what you're fated to do? The, it also, the will of fortune also talks about the universe aligning things so that you can actually move. Have you taken uh, any steps? Have you made any move or have you been paralyzed with fear? Have you not been a good and faithful steward over your gifts, over the inspiration that spirit, God, ancestors have gifted you with? This is uh, the question, right? If you feel like the answer is no, that's okay. If you still have time, you still have time to make something realistic or realize. You have to take a, a practical approach to this, but it is about, we all have gifts. We all have a dream. We all have been getting these downloads about what we're good at, what we should be doing. Yeah, you need to actually do it. You need to actually be motivated. You need to be intentional in all of your actions. Be committed. Be single-minded. Stop flip-flopping, going back and forth with, I'm not going to start my own business or I'm not going to get a new job or I'm not going to go back and get that education so I can be better. Uh, or I said I was, but then I said, oh, no, I, uh, it's too much. Or I just, you know... I just didn't follow through. This also, the magician talks about confidence. Confidence comes by way of knowledge. You know, have you gone and got the knowledge so that you can be, first of all, uh, confident and then resourceful? Do you have a craft? Do you know what your craft is? Have you been crafty? Are you cultivating any type of projects in your life? For we are meant to create. We're just, we're not meant to just sit at a desk and create for someone else or make someone else's dream a reality, not our entire lives. Now that could have been, you know, for a season in your life, but it's time for you to create. You all have been gifted with something great inside of you. It's time to unlock it because if you don't, you are not being a good steward over the gifts that spirit, your master has gifted you with. It's like squandering your gift. You're not doing anything with it. Therefore, you don't get to enter the joy of your master. This is the time. This is the season. This is the age of Aquarius. This is the awakening to self. This is being self-motivated. This is being strong. This is being conscious of self. Okay, of your capabilities. This is energy. This is the power being in your hands. This is personal power. It's time to take back your life. It's time to do something that will not only benefit you, but it will benefit others. Find a place where you can serve, where you will serve best, okay? And that's where you're supposed to be. That's your purpose. This is a time for self-awareness. Have you really experienced your own personality or your individuality? The Magician card talks about self-awareness. Or are you deciding to just accept this uh, mediocre life, this BS relationship, this BS job? 
Some of you just need to awaken and realize that you have given your time, your energy, your love, your devotion, your motivation to the wrong thing, the wrong person. You need to face it and then fix it. This is the time. This is the day. It's time for us all to awaken to ourselves so that we can come into the condition of being successful or thriving, especially economic well-being, prosperity. It's time for us to come into a, a level of prosperity, okay? Are you sitting amongst people who divide your energy, who divide your mind? The magician card talks about being single-minded. Are you sitting amongst people who are um, chatty, petty, dramatic, gossipy, a warmonger, somebody who divides? They, do, they divide and conquer. They don't bring energy together. They don't bring people together and then conquer because that would be too much like, right? They divide and conquer. Are you sitting amongst those people? Or are you one of those people? Is your mind divided? This is a time for you to stand up, Aquarius, and take back your personal power, your freedom. Take an action, making an impact, impressing not only uh, spirit, God, angels, yourself, sell yourself, your ideas, your product. It is time. Be focused. Concentrate on your goals. Be motivated. Understanding what you really want and not cowering down to it. Don't cower out. Don't, don't pussy out. It's time to stand up in that raw masculine energy, that raw masculine, that pure masculine power. Because when we start something that is masculinity, when we institute, when we it, at the beginning, so it's time for you, even if you are a woman, if you are feminine, it's time for you to act in your masculine energy. It's time for you to take back your life. You can do it. Get on your purpose, whatever it may be. Understand your true potential. Articulate your goals. Firstly to yourself and then to others. It's time for you to be in charge of your own life, Aquarius. Let me tell you what you get once you awaken to this. Let's see. What does the universe want Aquarius to know in regards to awakening to themselves, understanding their true natural power, selling themselves, putting themselves out there, their gift, what you've gifted them with, spirit. What do you want to tell Aquarius? It's time to come out of falsehood. Being... Um, Maybe listen to the universe. Sorry, listen to other people not listening to the universe. Masquerading like you're happy. This talks about other people's money or other people's idea. This is deception. This is self-deception. This is a cycle. This is going in a circle. This is deceiving. Yeah, oneself. What else do we want to tell Aquarius? Wow. Do something with your gift, Aquarius, because it will bring you sudden wealth. It will bring you to a place of, um, I heard milk and honey, to manifestation, the 11 card, the 17, that's the star card. You are a gift to the universe. You are a gift to the world. You have something. I, I don't know why I'm saying Aquarius, but this is for everybody. Um, whatever gift you have, you need to institute. You need to bring it into fruition, people. It's time to awaken. It's time to come out of your stupor or your depressive state. It's time for you to come out of waiting, wishing, wishful thinking, hoping. It's time for you to come out of that and master yourself, your thoughts, the thoughts that the universe has blessed you with, the ideas. It's time to move on them. They mean something. It's more than just a thought. It's your purpose, your life purpose. What do I tell you guys? When, when you um, when you get into your life purpose on your journey, everything falls into place. Some of you are trying to get love. You're trying to um, get new friends, but you hate your job. You hate what you do for a living. You hate that you're not creative, or that it's despondency in what you do, or you feel like you aren't being creative, or you aren't using your potential, right? So how is it that you want a relationship that you're going to have to cultivate and show up nice and good for and happy for when you hate one very big aspect of your life? It doesn't fit. It doesn't marry. 
firstly find your purpose, everything else will fall into place. The person you're supposed to be with shows up out of nowhere. Friend group, tribe, whatever you want to call it. You find that, find your purpose under this sun, under the sun, under in this earth, and then everything will be accounted to you. Seek first the kingdom of, of God. And in this kingdom, you have a position and you need to play it. Some of us are not doing so. Therefore, everything else in our life is out of whack, out of alignment. We can't seem to maintain or hold on to a relationship, a job, a friends, a family, family dynamics. There's always a mix, a mix up or a shake up or things break down. It's because you're not in alignment with your purpose as to why you're here. This is what I have for you for the money and biz uh, career. It's about using your gifts. It's about Mercury. What has been communicated to you? How does spirit communicate to you by way of your mind? Okay. Inspired thought. You know what it is. You know what they've gifted you with. You know the ideas they've given you. It's time to make it real. Make it come into fruition. Grounding your ideas into the 3D, the earth. Making ideas real. Using your resources to attain a dream. Because it says, his master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little, that, that small dream, that inspired thought. I will set you over much. Hmm. Some of you can't even master the dreams, the goals, the inspired thought. You won't act. Therefore, you're praying for so much more. But you haven't mastered you. You haven't mastered purpose in life. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. And if you are listening to this and, and you're ready to unlock, unleash, uh, put that in the, uh, down in the comment section. In the section, uh, Unlock, unleash. Get ready. This is the time. Personal power. You know, power. Let's, let's all manifest together. Um, and if you feel like you want to start your own business or you don't know how to do that, or you want to just be around that energy, a like-minded individuals, um, go ahead and join the KTMG, uh, monthly conference call. It's a call where, uh, you get on this call every month and you receive valuable information about how to either start, maintain, or grow your business or your craft. Um, you get spiritual and practical advice. Get involved in this. It is a wait list because so many people signed up, but go ahead, get on the wait list. Okay. Um, and if you feel like you need help, maybe moving in the direction of business, or you already have a business established and you would like to speak with me and see if I can coach you through that process, go ahead and schedule your complimentary discovery call. All right. All links are below. Get your own personal, uh, reading at the website level readings are on sale 40 percent off uh 40 off at checkout use that code uh i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday night doing a collective reading at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time shout out to chicago la dallas atlanta philadelphia houston london new york florida all right and if you feel like you took something from the reading and you're ready to resonate with this energy then let's with the magician card being a one, go ahead and sew one dollar or sew one one one. Um, the cash app, the PayPal is all below. Um, sew this into the reading so that you can kind of merge with this energy. It's time to unlock, it's time to unleash your true potential in this earth. All right, thank you for listening. Take care, many blessings to you.